right, so to answer the question, no, I have never really seen a black guy with a mullet. And we were chopping my man Markel's hair off and we had to have a little fun with it while we were at it. But guys, that is not gonna be the finished product. You can see I just started picking up hair, getting some of the bulk out of the way. Once we got that all cut down, I went ahead and picked the hair out. And now we're just trying to get a nice shape for kind of a burst fade mohawk. He's gonna go back to that curl sponge look, so we're just gonna work on the shape. We'll go ahead and twist it back up with the curl sponge before we come in and start the taper on the side. Now we're gonna do like a burst fade, high taper, burst taper. I don't know what you guys call it. This is a common haircut that I do. Kind of a C.A.T.E. really. I know that was popular there for a while. But you can see the bald guideline is gonna follow the same shape. The fade is gonna follow the same shape as that mohawk shape. And we're not gonna go behind the ear too much. We wanna have a nice, sharp, full line around the back. And then we'll have that burst taper on the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and punch that bald guideline in. Then we'll ball down underneath, come in with the shaver. We can start our first step. Now, for some reason, I went ahead and started my open section. Then I'm gonna come in after that with the shaver and get it all the way down the skin. I don't really know what I was thinking. I usually do the same exact steps every time, but we're gonna go ahead and set our open guideline in the same exact shape as the ball guideline and the weight up above, or not the weight, but the curls. Now we'll get a shaver ball and then we can start taking that bottom line out. So in the open section, we wanna treat it like it is broken down into five steps just like the five clicks on the lever. So we started with the lever all the way open, which is about the fifth notch, not about the fifth notch, it is the fifth notch. We're gonna start at the bottom with it all the way closed, which is the first notch. And in the middle, we're gonna open it halfway, which is the third. Now you guys can use the fourth and the second as needed, as you're gonna see here. I'm just gonna play with the lever and get any dark spots out that are left behind. Then we can move on to the next guard. You saw we got a pretty good shape with the free hand, but this is a number three. It's gonna make sure that the hair on his head is a number three and it connects into the hair on top. Now that we have the side cleared, I'm gonna go ahead and come in with the open one and start our next guideline about another half inch to three quarters of an inch up. And I'm kind of flicking out using the corner to go ahead and try to start connecting into that number three that we just did. Now I come in immediately after that with a number two, and we're just working our way down from the three and trying to blend into that one that we just did. And you guys can see this taper is already coming together. Now, if there's anything that the number two did not get, there's a little bit of a line. We're gonna come in with a one and a half. That's gonna get anything that's between the two closed and the one open. Now I'm just continuing to work my way down. I may have done some one open if it's needed. If not, I'll go straight to the one closed and start to work on that last dark line between the open section and the one. And last but not least, if we need the half guard, which I usually do, we'll come in with the half guard half open and take out any dark spots that are left, and then we can move on. come in and get a nice sharp line down the back of the neck. We're gonna round the bottom again. I like all these shapes going together. So you see the burst fade is gonna go up and over to the back of the ear, and then the lineup is gonna go down in kind of the opposite direction. Rounded at the bottom, we got a nice mohawk shape. I like for all those things to go together, and it gives me a nice looking haircut when we get all done. And you guys can see I'm using my blue FX1 FX trimmer. Just busted these out, guys. I've been using the black FX for a while. I wanted to try out the blue ones with the rubber grip and they are super solid. I adjusted these super well. You'll see on the front lineup just how well these things cut. Now moving on to the other side, we're gonna do the same exact steps. I'm gonna have it down in the bottom corner. If you guys wanna follow along, and I wanna tell you guys real quick, those of you who have been watching for a long time, you've seen the journey, and I've talked about it recently, guys. I've just been struggling with YouTube. If you guys don't know, I'm not in the shop a whole lot. I don't have a lot of clients. I've ran out of content. It's just been rough. I haven't been getting views. 
And uh, I've been looking for some transformations. I got some exciting stuff coming, but Markel came in, wanted to chop his hair off, wanted me to do it. And not only did he feel amazing at the end, you guys are gonna see the final clip when he finally looks at it, but I told him it made me feel good. Like I was back to taking somebody from, you know, pretty rough looking long hair, turning them into a super nice, sharp haircut, finished product, making them feel good. And it made me feel good. I knew I got a good video and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as he did and as I did. So leave me a comment down below at the end. Make sure you guys give me some feedback on this finished cut and let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna come in and prep the hair for the lineup. Guys, I'm holding his long hair up out of the way and I'm using my fade brush to brush down those bangs. You can see his hair in the middle goes straight up. So we like to pull those corners down, hit it with some hairspray. Now I'm using my dryer to go ahead and dry it. He's got an appointment, gotta get out of here. So I had to kind of speed up and I've been taking my time. So I'm just gonna dry it with the dryer. The reason I put the diffuser on is so I didn't blow the hair around. Now we can come in and start our lineup. And here are those blue effects is like I said, guys, super sharp they are cutting super well that blue fx blade is solid i'm just gonna give them a nice straight across lineup you can see the middle it grows up it's a little bit lighter looking there and the rest is kind of like bangs so we're really going to be cutting hair off on the left and right of the middle and the middle we're just going to kind of push that trimmer up right to the base of where the hair grows up we'll work it to both sides down the vertical bars then i'm gonna hit it with some fibers a little razor work hit that beard real quick and you guys can check out the finished product Now you can see I have the fibers applied pretty clean by using the card, but I like to come in one last time with my trimmer, go over that line one more time. And you can see I did bust out my black FXs. They just have this crunch, they hit a certain way. Those are my go-tos. And I'm just gonna go over the line one more time to get it nice and sharp. And you're gonna see that it does such a good job. And really all we have to do after that is get the fibers, any excess fibers and hairspray off of the forehead. So when I do the raise work, like I said, he was in a hurry, had to get out of there. I'm just gonna do it without laying him back. I'm gonna hit the vertical bars. I'm gonna get all the excess off his forehead, go ahead and do his beard, but I'm not gonna recline him and it's gonna do the job. Now to style the hair, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on top. I'm gonna come in with some statement curl cream, add that throughout the hair and hit it one last time with the curl sponge. You can see after detailing it, picking it out and hitting it a few more times, it needs to get curled back up. Even the curl cream did it on its own, but this curl sponge is gonna bring it together and you guys can check this thing out. I'm telling you, this is a absolute transformation. All right, guys, there he is before. Absolutely crazy. I think he said almost three years of growth. You can see when I pull it out how long it is. Your boy Cuts by Coast, Markel, ready for a change, and we gave it to him. Like I said, guys, he felt amazing. This definitely made me feel good, brought me back to life a little bit. I have been down in the dumps about the YouTube grind, so I am feeling super good about this, and I hope he is still loving this haircut. You guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this cut. I think I absolutely killed it. I think he agreed. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I just recorded absolute crazy other transformation about 
three feet of hair on this kid. I talked him into cutting it off, and you guys are gonna love the video. Now, if you're not familiar, Markel right here at Cuts by Coast on YouTube. He has been dropping a ton of reviews. You guys need to go check him out. I know you're bumming that I can't do other reviews, so he is your guy. He just dropped a bunch, so go check those out. And I'm gonna leave you guys another video for you guys to watch. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.